but uh, I don't know how much you guys have had a chance to talk about Malik Cunningham. It was kind of a weird story when it dropped. Um, so now some other players and and even the head coach are uh, chiming in on uh, Malik, who was a par- I can't even keep track anymore. He was on the practice squad. Is that where he was? I didn't even know if he was technically elevated or if he was practice squad. I thought it was practice squad. Well, obviously it is practice squad because that's how they come in and claim you. If you're on anybody's practice squad, this is what usually happens this time of year. Teams start planning for next year, or you start to add depth as you get to the playoffs if you got a guy nicked up or not. So say like a guy Lamar goes down, and I think it's a perfect situation for him. It's an offense that's built to him, for him to utilize his abilities to the best that he can. they got four quarterbacks now. You say, why the hell can't have four quarterbacks? Well, the Patriots had four quarterbacks. you got to go all the way back to 2000, 2001. They had Bledsoe. They had Freeze. They had Michael Bishop. And they kept a guy by the name of Tom Brady. Four, which was very unusual for that time. I'm happy for Malik because ultimately I think he really wants to be a quarterback. The problem here, and they gave him a big signing bonus. It was the biggest signing bonus that a free agent got to come here for the Patriots. They needed some help at receiver. And they looked at him and like he had such a unique quickness that they tried to develop him at receiver. You know, they wanted it to be Mac. Bailey Zappi was going to be the backup. They mismanaged this quarterback position thing all the way back to last March. 20 different transactions to the position in totality. So if he really wants to be a quarterback, it's probably better that a team like Baltimore picked him up. Because I didn't see it happening here. And I don't know how many times people came up to me, well, is this the week we see him? Is this the week we see him? I go back to Vegas. He didn't warm up in warm-ups, you know, throwing the ball where it was macking him. That was it. Macking him. But I guess he secretly warmed up inside in the locker room. Well, <laughs> it's just like they so I don't really they didn't know. They want to tip their hands. I don't know if he ever took reps at quarterback or if it was just all receiver. But a lot of people are happy that he's going to get a chance to go play quarterback in the league. Okay. If – if, if, in fact, he is. And it kind of makes sense if he is a mobile quarterback, an athletic guy, and a, you know, it makes more sense for him to be in the Ravens organization where that would somehow translate a little bit better with a backup quarterback. That was the first thing I thought of. I'm like, oh, yeah. I mean, what, wasn't that part of the, um, the reasoning for keeping him with the Patriots right. or, or any other team? If you're going to face a quarterback like Lamar Jackson – Oh, it'd be great to have Malik Cunningham running the scout team and and kind of mimicking what you would see as a defense. Yeah. So okay, I guess it makes sense. Um, is Fred going to come in and do this now? Oh, he's got to yeah. do a picture. This is a whole thing. Fre- Fred's got a Fred's got a live read. Uh, <laughs> All right. I think it is uh, something they're doing. Well, I heard Fred this morning, and he said the only people who get live reads are Felger and Mass, because that's only the only time the the uh, salespeople come in the building. So that's the only show that they know. Wallach took some shot at somebody. I don't know what it was. But. All right. Um, you, you talked about other players wishing him well. Trent Brown was the first to do it on Instagram. He said, uh, go flourish where your talent is respected, at little brada. And then, ouch, um, an emoji that I. That's an ouch. I don't understand that emoji. I don't know what that one is. And then 4L, thanks, love, peace. So. That one, that one's kind of an ouch. Obviously, your talents are not respected. Where you're respected. Okay, you're, obviously, your talents are not respected here, so go where they are. What is Trent Brown doing? Is it is, is Shooting his way out. It, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, oh, oh, it's fait accompli here. Oh, I mean, what are you doing? I don't think he, they were going to attempt to sign him back. I think you're going to go in a different direction to tackle, whether you draft a guy or go get another guy. But that's just a dude telling you, like, yeah, we're here at the end. Season's over. We're not in the playoffs. Hey, good luck, man. Go go where you get respect. Not here. Strikes me as a guy who thinks they've the team's been playing Malik Cunningham at the wrong position. Which, to me, is is really the story here. If this guy was a quarterback, and by the way, I'm not convinced that he is. What, because there was one preseason game where he looked good in the fourth quarter? Two against series. A, a, two against series. Two series against a bunch of, guy, bunch of guys who aren't going to be in the league and aren't in the league. Like, we're really going to put a lot of stock in that. The only second guess here is taking a look at him as a wide receiver in the preseason and saying, why did you think this guy was a wide receiver? Why didn't you move him back to quarterback full time? Mm. Keep him on the practice squad. Why did you keep trying to make this guy a mm. wide receiver? He's not that. Here's 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 my question, and I and I know it's not only Trent, but I've, I've heard Zeke talk about him. Juju, like, oh, this dude's explosive. Where do you see him? 
they probably see it <clears throat> during the practice squad plays. Like, he probably makes some superhuman play, you know, in air versus without pads on, but runs around, probably throws it 70 yards, and, they, and the practice squad guy catches it. So you're like, ooh, this dude can play, you know? So, I mean, that's really what they, they have to go off of because we have not seen him in game action. And any brief game action has not been good. Like the jet sweep thing and um, Vegas, the Vegas plan was not good to have him. So no. that seemed to be like a waste of time. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, Matt oh. McCarthy, what do you think of the uh, Malik Cunningham uh, uh, being claimed uh, from the practice squad and uh, now Malik is with the Ravens? What are your thoughts on that, Matt? I'm sorry that you didn't give me my headphones until just now. Is this about those those poor souls on the socks? Is this? No, it's about, is, are we are we hearing something from a movie? What's that with Zach Galifianakis? Galifianakis it, 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 the, the movie where the, the campaign. It, the campaign. It's got a bit of Zach Galifianakis. I steal campaign. all my impressions from really bad comics. <laughs> and it's got Let a us little, bow our head to the Lord. A little bit of the guy from Family Guy. Is he a teacher or is he a? Uh, he has many roles on he Family. Does. He's yeah. got many roles on Family Guy. <laughs> But but Matt, so there'd be many a Saturday that I I love I love Matt McCarthy and there'd be many Saturday oh, and, and I do I I love him I, he's a tall drink of water he intimidates YouTube, right? me yeah and uh, no I love listen I don't know him but I love listening to him and then but I'd be listening on a Saturday so that's the only reason I could do this he'd be like I'll just tell you this much <laughs> what the? I'll tell you that this Heim Bloon is I'll he it's a mess. I mean, geez, Louise, this whole operation has gone cuckoo. He's for the birds. Can you, McCarthy, <laughs> can, can you do the rest of the show in that voice? I can try. He kind of does. Just, That's kind of cool. Can you hear already. it? Can you hear it? And he's like so mad. And he's like, you know, ugh, pitching more like ditching pitching. <laughs> Stinks. They stink. He's awful. <laughs> I do. Six one seven 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 nine zero ninety nine five. If you can take it, you sons of guns. <laughs> Thank you. All See right. you, Fred. <clears throat> Thank Bye, you, Fred. Fred. Okay, yeah, that's enough. who's in the morning no. tomorrow, Fred. Tomorrow's Ryan Johnson, who I think I in, backdoored insulted today, so I didn't mean to. But <laughs> oh, so what well. are you going to do? Yeah. It's a very yeah. tenuous yeah. rope I'm walking right now, gentlemen. All right, thank you. See you, Fred. Right, thank you. Goodbye. All right, <clears throat> so more on. <laughs> You know, I will find myself doing, I kid you not, doing the Fred Toucher voice of me in my car sometimes. I'll be like, oh, no. <laughs> See? There's something to it.